Hey everyone, so on this video we're going to be discussing how to go about lubricating the z-axis screws here on your artillery 3D printer. Obviously you can tell by the back plate, I'm still using the Genius, process is exactly the same, really regardless of which printer you have, but I'm caveating this towards this brand of machine. So let's dive in. Now before we go any further, it's not a bad idea to come along with our good buddy canned air and just take two seconds to blow away any dirt and grit that might have built up there. This printer lives in a slightly dusty environment, so it's not a bad idea to do that. Now when it comes to lubricant, I want to make it very clear, the original WD-40, I'm going to say that again, the original WD-40 is not a lubricant, it is a solvent. It's perfectly fine for cleaning things off with, it is perfectly fine for cleaning things, it's a great rust preventer, all that stuff, but it is not a lubricant. If you apply that, you will actually remove whatever grease you have there, and that's not good. Now, I personally prefer using this Super Lube Synthetic Grease. You can find it at most hardware stores, and a little bit of this goes a very long way. What I mean by that is, I will literally take a Q-tip, and I'll just get a tiny amount on there, maybe a little more, like, you know, that, and I will just carefully rub it into the lead screw on both sides of the nut, and then I will manually, or in this case because the machine is off, then I will manually run the screw up and down into the grease, which I'm not going to do because it's all the way up there. But the point is, that will then work it in there, and it's not a bad idea to run it all the way to the top and all the way back down, just to make sure that you have grease in there, especially if you run a bunch of really short prints and you go to run a tall one. You want to make sure that the whole lead screw is greased. Also, it helps prevent any potential corrosion. I have not had that happen, but it's not a bad idea. Now, I know a lot of people also prefer using dry lubricant. That's personal preference. I can't comment on that either way. I don't like using sprays, so I feel like they can get everywhere. Powders are really messy. The nice thing about the Super Lube, being that it's a synthetic grease, is I have not noticed it drying out like a regular petroleum-based yeah, grease can do, so just something to keep in mind there. Now, obviously, if you really want to come along and clean your screws, it's perfectly fine to use original WD-40 for that, but just make sure that you clean it off completely before you apply any fresh lubricant so you don't destroy what you're putting on there. As for the intervals of doing it, this printer does not see a ton of use, so I would say every six months I will apply a very tiny amount. If you are using this machine constantly, maybe every one to three months, but just make sure that you're not overdoing it. If you notice a bunch of buildup of grease on this area or this area of the nut, you've overdone it. So come along, wipe that off, because you, you want a very thin layer. You don't want something that's going to act like a dirt and grit magnet. So I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.